Hello everyone, welcome back to the more The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, second chapter. I'm Bogmod. We are uh, about to go to the uh, Wolf Fort, I believe now. I don't really remember much about Wolf Fort last time I was here. I had to run out here for some reason. Ah well. Chickens! And here's the Wolf Fort. It's really peaceful there. Do I need to worry about Calvard invading us and stealing our puppies or something, huh? Quite a difference compared to the Hakan Gate. Of course, unlike my glorious fatherland, Calvard and Libro are easy friends. And their has done nothing to deserve different. Ugh. I imagine our cat with Calvard has something to do with it, though. This gate is a mountain pass that would be difficult for any full army to pass through. That's why the gate is so small as well, as I recall. Ah, yes! Far different from the Hacken Gate, which fits onto a great open road. The hell's with the chicken, though? That's embarrassing. Ah, whatever. Let's get to asking some questions. Should I say hi to whoever's in charge first? Right! Or, now hear me out, we attack the chickens! Yes! Alright, I'm satisfied with my life now. Hello? CW Pace. Now you're the basic the guild cobbler have you, right? You investigate the earthquake. Let's kill cassette on the phone. Ah yes, that's right! Wow, I keep forgetting how uh thorough killer cares. <laughs> Keeps us on our toes every now and then. Uh we just got back from your headquarters. We're not that impressed with the military right now. Do everything we can to help. Cheers. To start with, how about you explain how the earthquake went down? Well, let's see. First, the the you know the ground shook, and then it stopped shaking. Uh, three days ago, at roughly seventeen hundred hours. That's five p.m. The okay, itself wasn't all that strong. It only lasted ten seconds. So there's just really have a, really ever happened around here. Some of my men are spooked. Let me tell you. The part that spooked me spooked me though. That's kind of commanded life support to report. They told you that no other part of the region experienced an earthquake, yes? Exactly right, miss. No, it was just Lyston. Even Sanctum Gate didn't feel anything. They're practically up the damn road! And as I said, I'm on. They learned and learned they'd felt nothing either. It's like Killika said. See which, do you hear there any an earthquake in Zeiss today? Yeah, I heard about it. That's the thing, we didn't feel so much as a wobble here. Localized earthquakes only strike small specific areas. Not what I'd call the most natural thing in the world. Well, that covers the quake. Anything else happened that caught your attention aside from that? Like, did you see anyone strange? No, no meaningful reports from my men. It's possible they saw something so minor they didn't feel the need to report to me immediately, though. Feel free to ask them some questions. Maybe jog the memories a bit. Maybe rough them up. They're kind of lazy. Sure, thanks, sir. Let's get to talk to the gate guards. <laughs> Hello, buddy. What, do you want something? Yeah, with the Bracer Guild. And yeah, with our investigation. I don't mind, but please keep it short. Still asked if anything suspicious had happened before or after the earthquake. Earthquake, you mean the one three days ago? Oh, just a normal day. If anything suspicious had I would have put it long ago. I see. Ah, oh, so this was a swing and a miss. That's what you needed. Ah, yeah, that's plenty. Sorry to disturb your work. No problem. Put in the job after all, aren't we? Well then, if you excuse me, I have walking aimlessly to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, perhaps, perhaps there's a place I can buy food here. <coughs> there we are. Oh, I've already had the foul magma roast. I guess we'll just talk to this person. Welcome to this, is, to this totally ordinary bar. Da. That's suspicious. Have a moment. Sure, what is it? Hey, it's with the Bracer Guild. They'd help with their investigation a little. If you can, anyway. Oh, well, not like I have any customers anyway in this totally normal bar. I still asked if anything odd had happened before or after the earthquake at this totally normal bar. 
Mm, sorry, I remember the totally normal earthquake myself. Heck of a totally normal surprise that was. Suddenly hit, I was like, GRA! And I was totally normally shocked. So nothing that caught your attention before or after the earthquake. Hmm, no, nothing particularly different from the norm, no. It was totally ordinary, really. I was in the bar the whole time, so could've, could've been, So there wouldn't have been a whole lot that could happen. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Seems like there's any leads to follow, yeah? So I couldn't be of more help. No, don't worry about it. It was totally ordinary help. Thanks for your cooperation. Hello. What is the Bracer Guild? I'd like to ask you about the earthquake three days ago. Ah, that was pretty scary. My first earthquake, I didn't really understand what was going on. Did you guys need to investigate the damage it caused or something? No, not quite. Actually, it's looks best if anything odd had happened before or after the earthquake. Hmm, not events, huh? The last thing was the earthquake itself. Oh, well, sure, that's true, but... I think there's an increase aside from the earthquake. Uh, no. Everything else just flew out of my head. Okay. In that case, not much point in asking anything else. It's going to bother you. You can get back to work. Yeah, sorry. Anything else, though? Just say the word. All right, well, clean up these, these beds. You disgust me. All right. I'm going to get people to investigate with. Hey, buddy. You're my last hope. Private Brom. Sup. Uh, we're from the Bracer Guild? We're not disturbing you. We could ask us some questions. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah. Still ask the soldier about any odd things he might have seen when the earthquake happened. <laughs> odd things, huh? I was, uh, I was checking, uh, the light blocking abilities of my hat when the quake hit. <laughs> I thought the chief was yelling at me at first. But, uh, yeah, I didn't see anyone around. Hey, if there was a break, it was not an earthquake. It wasn't really all that strong. I've seen stronger. See me flex. Ah, uh, this isn't so much a strange occurrence as this mission that you're awful at your job. Ah, but to sleep standing, that is a rare skill, Estelle. I, however, can consume an entire full-course meal while asleep on a sofa. Why the hell are you trying to brag about that? So, um, is there anything else you can remember at all? Huh. Actually, Henning said he saw something weird, but... Something weird? Well, this was the day before the earthquake, mind you. The guard here, Henning, asked if, if anyone had passed the gate. The man had seen him, and he just shook his head. Well, that's curious. I wonder what he was talking about. He might be able to tell something. Let's go talk to Henning again. All right. To Henning. I think he was the guy upstairs. Are you Henning? Nope, you're Gerwin. Okay. Back to Henning. 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 Oh, hey, need something else? Actually, yeah, we talked to Brom. So explain what they heard from Brom. Oh, right, yeah, that. Yeah, I did ask him that. You asked if someone had passed the gate? Yeah, let me explain. So four days ago, I just finished my watch and was going off duty. Just as I was leaving, though, I saw a weird man coming up the road. A weird man? Was it a man garbed in white with a mask, perchance? A mask? No, no, it wasn't that weird. <laughs> That's pretty damn weird. No, no, he was a tall guy wearing a black suit. And he had, a black, he had black glasses on at night. Black glasses? Those could be sunglasses, right? Yeah, They're pretty rare still, so it's likely the same guy. Sunglasses, huh? Yeah, he just very went on break. I saw him coming up the road. The travel was to pass by your stop at the bar, so I forgot to see him inside. I take it he didn't. Hmm. I suppose he might not have gone on break at night. Ah, oh, well. I'm going to pretend it was. Makes things more amusing. Uh, he didn't show, so I asked Brom, and he said nobody passed through. Hey, he's a lazy slob. He ain't so bad at his job, he just let a stranger pass through without checking. Ah, perhaps he'll base and set your barracks. Yes, so with your commander, for example. So I was pretty curious at that point, so I asked the commander. He said nobody been in there uh, during the entire time period either. So I don't know what happened to the guy I saw. It seemed like he came through. 
Okay, this seems really suspicious. You should tell Kilika about this. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no question. Thanks for sharing all this with us. Hey, my pleasure. Feel better having gotten off my chest. Okay, then. Well, we got our clue. And I do like my clue. So back to, uh, to Kilika. Oh. Oh, apparently I have to report to the commander. All right. To the commander. Commander. Hello again. Were my men helpful? Yeah, actually, yeah. I still took the pace with the men in sunglasses. Certainly saw a suspicious man. I think he was something to do with the earthquakes. But he sounds suspicious regardless. Around here, we judge people based on their looks. Sunglasses. For this to commander at least, at least. Yeah, thanks. All right. I think that about wraps it up. Let's head back to Kilka and tell her what we know. All right. <laughs> Though, to be fair, that is, I guess... Oh, what's this? Hey, you lot. You interrupted my train of thought pace. I hope it's something good. Need a time. Oh, what do you mean, sir? Has something happened? No, sorry. They told me we... Told me uh, we seen heard something surprising. It's up to me to let you all know. Surprising what now? Wait, don't tell me. Yeah. There was just an earthquake at the Sanctime Gate. What? Oh, we rushed to the Sanctime Gate. Uh, looks pretty okay. A couple barrels knocked over. A few books knocked down. All right. What the hell is with all you fool braces? Can't see you in the middle of a cleanup after an earthquake. You have your nose around, but probably do it later. Sorry, sir, but this is our job. To get in the way of cleanup, do you mind if we ask, do a little questioning? Ha! Huh. Face cute and order it. Tell you about to clear out. Got some urgent biz to care. Get the details from my second man. Uh, Warrant Officer Talbot. The storage area. Oh, they're cleaning up. Okay, we'll talk to him. Thanks! I mean, damn sure you don't interfere with any actual work going on here. Now, if you'll excuse me. What a jerk. What a jerk. I don't like him very much. Not one bit at all. Well, it, uh, it is kind of bad here. Do you think we should help a little? I mean, just to be friendly? I mean, look! That spear is on the ground. To be honest, I'll keep your hands to yourself. This is a military facility, remember? There might be secret documents or something scattered around that we weren't, aren't supposed to see. Oh well, yeah, good point, I guess. Still, it's a quite a bit more damage than the city of Zeisseth Creek, isn't it? I suppose? But the car's nearly as much of a mess. The ferocity of the quake could be a the primary line of inquiry, then. As well as asking what our mystery man. Yeah, that guy in sunglasses. Well, first things first, let's talk to the second grand guy. Alright, but I'm going to try to go back to the city first. Because, because, no, oh, no. Because sometimes I uh, miss quests this way by not checking that more frequently. Hmm? Oh, second command guy first. Uh, he's in here. Here. Storage room, nope. Um, hello. Sure, the big earthquake. In a long time. I've got some cleaning to do. Might as well get started. Oh no, her watering pot fell over. Poor woman. I'm not sure life is even worth living for anymore. Just a clean, clean, never ends. Ugh, I hate it. It's a disaster. I can keep the vision with her cleaning up a little first. You know, they could have at least put, like, actual rubble. So it seemed like, you know, there'd been damage to the wall itself or something. Oh well. Crap! <sighs> this is gonna be such a pain to clean. I my heart if it's under my knife, although. Uh, excuse me. Sorry to disturb you. Huh? And you are. 
So the company introduced themselves to braces and explained they were investigating the earthquake. Ah, I see. Thanks for the concern, even if Dale doesn't share my thanks. So you want to know what the situation was like when the earthquake happened, right? Yeah. As much detail as you can give us. Understood. Roughly 1,300 hours, two hours ago. That means it's 1,500 hours right now. Yeah. Uh, the earthquake lasted about 30 seconds. It was strong enough to knock down big piled up boxes. Even a barrel. Wait, so compared to the quake and Wolf Fort. Well, it did last longer, and it was stronger. <clears throat> yes, the town of Quake was worse, stronger, and longer lasting. There isn't that one in the city. Fall apart in the middle, I guess. Meaning that and the quakes are getting more powerful each time. That's uh, kind of bad, isn't it? The situation does seem to be worsening. But these are natural occurrences. I don't see how we could stop them. Is it the Bracer Guild has any ideas? Maybe a secret earthquake machine? Have you guys been drinking, drilling into the core of the earth again? Uh, well, we're not supposed to talk to you about that. But we're uh, pursuing a few leads. Speak, was there anything uh, weird happen for after the earthquake? Were there any suspicious people walking around? Ah, oh, hmm. Well, Chelsea mentioned something about a strange man yesterday. He's in the roof if you want to hear details from him. Chelsea on the roof, right. Thanks. Or if he fiddles. Thanks for helping us out, sir. Not at all. Good luck. That's something I've never seen either. Fiddler on the roof. I heard it's good. Whee! Hello, Chelsea. Nope. Hmm. I guess he's on the top. Oh, the horror. The horror. This guy climbed up the wall when the earthquake hit. He was so shocked by the shame. He almost fell to his death. Any stronger? He might really have fallen. But you're lucky in one way, Anton. Oh. Scary. I almost fell. All right. Okay. Huh? Who are you guys? You're a private Chelsea, right? What if the Bracer Guild? And you're under arrest? I mean, mind if we ask you about the earthquake that happened a little while ago? So this group asked about the suspicious men Chelsea saw. Alright, the guy from yesterday. I don't know if there's anything to do with the earthquake. See a tall man with black sunglasses around. I know it. But you're the same man see at the Wolf Fort. Sir, did you see what this man was doing? Seemed kind of like a tourist, really. Like the scenery for a bit, they came down. Attention that you don't see glasses like this often. Saying to me then, walked off though. I didn't have any chance to talk to him. Mm, okay. Do I see this guy, maybe? No, oh, that's what gets weird, thing about it. Wasn't a dimmer since he was kind of weird, but practically nobody else even saw the guy. All I remember seeing was Tammy works in the mess hall. Oh, I'm like Wolf Gate, this guy sees quite a bit of traffic. But yet, despite this, there are only two witnesses. Hmm, how wonderfully spooky. All reason to see what that girl has to say. Tell me it's not mess all right. Thanks, Chelsea. You're a big help. No problem. Yeah, she'd be in the mess hall. Look at the investigation. Man. Huh. I'll say this. It's good that the, um... Ouroboros agent's dress... Really conspicuously. Um, you know, masks, that sort of thing. Um, black sunglasses, stuff like that. If only they dressed like regular folk, we would totally have been boned. But, um, wow. It's already clean! Well, the devastation of the earthquake. Indeed. We'll take a little break here, come back soon, and we'll uh, see what Tammy has to say.